So also aside from what I was asking you about, like the point of view of Saudi Arabia, I've also had a lot of contentious encounters with a lot of the Islam apologists who are Western based. Um, I had a few encounters with uh, Dalia Mugahed, who wears a oh, hijab dear. and was on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. And she is a big advocate of not just the hijab, but that the hijab in general is very rarely forced on women. I have my serious doubts of what the percentages she believes uh, globally. And I would even add of even women who wear any kind of veil, whether it be the hijab or niqab in Western societies, even the US, the percentage of when she says not forced and just chosen, to what degree the parents that really have no putting no obligation at any age for them to wear it. But she w was on like the daily show and she says, you know, most, most women don't, are not forced to wear it. It's just a choice. She's speaking for all Muslim women at this point, And she says, all it does is privatize sexuality uh, as it's a good thing. And Trevor Noah kind of applauds that he's like, Oh yes, because you know, mm. we should be able to do that and private privatize the sexuality. So we don't judge them based on their looks. And he got a big applause from that. And so did she, how do you feel about that? Because, and also maybe Yasmin as well, because you both have worn veil at some point. Mm -hmm. That really pisses me off. It pisses me mm -hmm. off whenever somebody says that the veil is a choice. It is mm -hmm. never a choice. Even when like the likes of Dalia Mujahid says that, oh, it's a choice. I chose to wear it. Why? Why did you choose to wear it? Because your your God told you that you have to wear it. It's your duty to God to wear it. It was not a choice. And it's not a choice for the millions of women that live in the Middle East. It's not a yeah. choice for girls like me when we were nine years old and had to wear it. It was never a choice for me. It's never a choice for my cousins. It wasn't a choice for my mother. It wasn't a choice for any single woman that I know personally. So when she says that it's suddenly a minority that forces women to veil, I just want to go and punch her in the face because that is not true. And she is lying. And she lying. knows it. She, she knows she's lying. lying. Like and she is there's... not helping. She's not helping at all. All these women that are forced to wear. So why, how many, how many more women have to go out there and tell her that she's lying that like, it's just, I can't even, I'm sorry. Like this is really pisses me off because for every single story of, Hey, it's my choice. You go, you go visit the ex Muslim subreddit and see like 10 stories of girls. I can't do this anymore. I hate wearing the hijab. I only do it for my family. And this is here in the West not in Saudi Arabia or Iran. It's in the West. This argument of choice, too, like, I find it curious that no other women choose to wear the hijab except for Muslim women. Like, if this was something that people would just choose, like, oh, I choose to wear a pink dress or I choose to wear a bandana, you'll find that across the world. But nobody else is saying, hmm, I choose to wear a hijab. It's not coming from nowhere. It's coming from the pressure from your family. I was nine years old, just like Rada. And you get told a good girl to go to heaven and for Allah to love her and to protect her because we love her so much because she's like a piece of candy, a piece of meat, a jewel. A jewel. <laughs> Lots of different objects can be used now in this story. But basically, we want to protect you, so we're going to wrap you up and make sure that you're protected so that you can be perfect when your husband goes to unwrap you when when he's ready to fuck you, basically. That's, that's the idea behind the hijab. That's what you're being told constantly by society. When you, when you put the hijab on, everybody goes crazy around you. Oh, mashallah, you look so beautiful. Oh, look at your face is glowing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. They don't do that for girls that don't wear hijab. I've had people say to me, I've had actually, it was weird because I was in, I was not even wearing hijab at this time. But I had a student say to me in Qatar, oh, teacher, you can't trust her. She doesn't even wear hijab. And I'm like, listen, bitch, <laughs> look at the person you're talking to. Like, I'm not wearing hijab either. But I knew that was a part of the society because I grew up with that. When a woman wears hijab, you can trust her. She's a pious, good person. And if she doesn't, she's all the opposite things of that. 
So it's not really a choice, is it? It isn't a choice either when you know that you won't get married if you don't wear it, when people will look at you differently, when your family wants to kick you out if you don't want to wear it. It's When men on the street will bother you even more because they're going to think like, oh, well, you're asking for it. You're the one who's not covering yourself up. So obviously you want us to comment on you. And it's just not... It's the whole idea of choice is given free will, but we're not get, get, getting that. Not in Islam, not when God tells you you have to wear it. Mm-hmm. Not when it's an obligation in your religion to cover up. It's not a choice that I don't understand how they can say that it's a choice. 